Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. Um, we're going to be changing a couple of falls out tonight. And so I did a couple of steps before the video started. First, I'm going to take the crackers off the old falls that I'm going to be removing because I'll probably reuse these crackers. So took the crackers off. And before the video started, I took both of my new falls and I lubed them up with uh, conditioner, uh, a lot of conditioner, so they're nice and slick. That'll make installing them a little bit easier. Uh, then I recommend you use a marlin spike, and you just wanna get that marlin spike started under the eye of the old fall that you're, or the fall that you're gonna be removing. And I recommend use a second knife and cut through the eye, but do it with the marlin spike in place. That way that marlin spike protects the kangaroo and there's there's no chance of you snipping a, uh, one of the plats of the roux off. Now, I'm gonna actually trim uh, the eye so that the big part of the eye is off. So when I pull that, the old fall through, I'm not forcing uh, a big hunk of eye through the fall. Now, before I remove the fall, the old fall, I'm gonna get uh, the new fall in place. So we just slip the old fall through the eye of the new fall Slip this eye over the fall hitch and thread it up where it's in place above the keeper or the fall hitch. Okay. Then we're going to pull this old fall. We're going to pull it through the fall hitch and set it aside. And we're gonna take the new fall, and the goal is to slide it through the fall hitch, uh, the lacing of the fall hitch, so you don't have to retie the fall hitch. So you can see I slid it through there. I'm gonna grab it on the other end and, and just slide it on through. And you wanna kinda get it oriented so it's not kinked. And then you're just gonna pull that eye down where it's nice and snug and seated against the fall hitch, okay? And that's really all there is to it. I'll go ahead and I'll re-lube my fall. I'll put a cracker on it. And that, that whip I just did was a uh, a bull whip, four foot bull whip by Desert Minx. And the fall that was on it uh, was a little bit heavy. There was nothing wrong with this fall other than it was made out of a little bit heavier leather. And I felt the whip was tip heavy. So um, the fall I just put on is a little bit thinner, uh, Latigo. So it's, it's gonna be a little lighter and hopefully it'll resolve that, that tip heavy feeling. Now, the other fall I'm gonna do real quickly for you. Um, this, we're, I'm experimenting with, um, with a bison, a fall cut out of bison. And the fall I'm removing is white hide. And there's nothing wrong with this fall other than that I don't like white hide because uh, it dries out and it won't hold conditioner very well. So I'm gonna, even before I snip that eye, I'm gonna slip this fall up over the old fall and around the fall hitch and get it in place. Then, same procedure. Gonna slip my marlin spike through there. Gonna use a, a second knife to cut through the eye of the old fall 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of this extra eye so that there's less, uh, you don't want the big hunky piece of eye being pulled through the fall hitch uh, and getting hung up somehow. So I'm gonna snip through this I'm going careful so I don't I don't cut a strand of rue. Okay. So now it's just a matter of pulling the old fall through, setting it aside, and taking the new fall and sliding it through. The fall hitch. Another name for that fall hitch is keeper. Uh, I mean, the proper name is fall hitch, but kind of the function of the fall hitch is it keeps the fall in place. So some uh, some people call it a keeper, but it actually is a fall hitch. And I don't. like the way that's turning out. Got it twisted. Oh, I got it real twisted. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to pull this back through and start over. Let's start over and let's make sure that we're not all twisted up. Okay. So we're going to pull that and seat that. All right. So I'm interested to see how this bison works out for fall material. It's a little bit heavier duty than um, Latigo, but... Um, Peter Jacks started using some bison, and he talked to me about it, and I said, well, sure, I'm game. I'll give it a try. So I'm putting it on my mini Zenith bull whip, and we're going to see how it, how it works, how much I like it or don't like it. And crack her on both these whips when you... Uh, Anytime I put a new cracker on or, or reinstall a cracker, uh, I set the popper. Popper is another word for cracker. I set that popper by actually cracking the whip. Okay, so I'm ready to go with that. Now, what am I going to do with these old falls? Well, real quickly, what I will do is I will snip off the bottom part of the eye, and I'll take an, uh, a razor blade, and I'll cut a new eye in the fall, and I'll keep these as spares. Even though um, I'm changing them out, there's nothing wrong with them uh, to have them laying around as a spare in case I need it, in case I have a fall that fails. Uh, then I'll have one handy to put in place. Uh, and if I don't like it, I can always get one of the whip makers to cut me a new one. Well, as always, Thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, every one of you should be able to change a fallout now.